So joining us right now is Alta, and Alta is a hyacinth macaw. Now a lot of people say, well isn't she a parrot? You're not wrong, she is a parrot. The difference is that parrot is an umbrella term that includes a lot of different bird species. So she's a macaw and also a parrot. Now hyacinth macaws are the largest species of macaw. They are also the loudest. Hopefully she won't demonstrate that for us here today because at peak she can be heard up to two miles away. Now hyacinth macaws get their big size because primarily of that long tail and they use it to help them navigate when they're flying and they do live in the rainforests of south america but because they're so large if they need to fly long distances they're actually going to go up above the canopy and fly above the trees well it's really windy up there so they've got to have that long tail to help them keep steady and navigate now most of the time, they're actually going to choose not to fly if they're just going short distances because flying takes a lot of energy. Flying for a bird is kind of like running for us. We don't want to run everywhere we have to go and parrots don't want to fly everywhere they have to go either. So if they're only going short distances, they prefer to be climbing and they're going to do that using their feet and their beak, just like you saw Alta walking down our rope. Now that big beak of theirs is called a hook bill. Not only is it great for that climbing, but it's great for eating too. So they are eating fruits and nuts and seeds, and they're gonna use that big beak to crack it open. I'm gonna give Alta a walnut so she can demonstrate just how strong that beak of hers is. And you'll see how quickly she can break into that walnut. There she goes. Now she's holding on to it with her feet. She's got big zygodactyl feet. That means she has two toes pointing forward and two toes pointing backwards. And that gives her the ability to grasp or hold on to things, even though she doesn't have opposable thumbs like we do. All to showing off her beautiful wingspan there for us. Now, like I said, she's not gonna choose to fly here today because she's got no reason to. She has everything she needs. She's getting attention. She loves to be in front of people. And she's got that big treat in her foot that she's just waiting to break into. Now, a lot of people ask us about parrots and mimicking. Parrots can mimic human language. However, as a general rule, the larger the macaw species, the less likely they are to mimic. Alta here is 27 years old, and we have never heard her say a human word. She does make lots of bird sounds, lots of calls, lots of screams and screeches, um, typical things for a parrot. But as far as we know, she's never picked up any of our mimicking. That's it. <laughs> You're not even gonna eat your walnut.